Welcome to the top of the morning show. It's your girl Titi from the D, and it is Thursday, y'all. What? Sometimes we dub it Thankful Thursday. I'm thankful every day, so I'm thankful Monday, thankful Tuesday, thankful Wednesday. Of course, thankful Thursday, thankful Friday, thankful Saturday, thankful Sunday. Every day, I'm thankful if I'm rising up above the ground. This week, we have been talking and focusing on love relationships and just like reality of being in relationships i was blessed and and excited to have my husband swifty mcveigh come through on tap in tuesday we did a live version we had an amazing time we had great feedback so much so we're going to do a part two next week and we're really going to break down the book it's a new york times bestseller the five love languages how to express heartfelt commitment to your mate, right? Brought to you by Dr. Chapman, Dr. Gary Chapman to be exact. We're also, after we do that book, in the next couple of months, a couple of weeks, we're going to talk about what did you expect? Redeeming the Realities of Marriage by Paul David Tripp. It is an amazing book. Both of these books you can find online. Definitely, you know, you can always find a great book, a great read through Amazon. But if you want to get more information on the five love languages, you could go to www.5lovelanguages.com for free interactive small group study guides. Yes. And let me tell you a little bit. Dr. Gary Chapman is the author of the best selling five love language series and the director of Marriage and Family Life Consultants, Inc. He travels the world presenting seminars and he actually has a radio program that's on more than 100 stations. And if you want to get more information about his stations and things of that nature, then you could visit www.garychapman.org, right? So do you know the five love languages? We talked about it, but let's revisit, recap, quality time, words of affirmation, gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. Next week, we are going to do one, are you ready? We're going to do one love language a day, okay? And the first one we'll start for, well, or I start with, I should say, start with on Monday, we're going to do, what's that? Um, let's see. Let me look so we can be honest and keep us on task, right? Let me see how this is. Do, do, do. So, affirmation. How can I break this down? I'm trying to see. Mm. Okay, so what are we going to start with? I see. Oh, okay. The number one. I guess there's nowhere, nowhere, no place better to start than at number one, right? So number one, starting Monday, we're going to talk about words of affirmation. On Tuesday, we're going to talk about number two. Let me get to number two. So you can write this down. I want you to make a note of this because it's going down. Number two is going to be quality time on Tuesday, right? The third day for number three, the third love language, we're going to talk about... Do, do, do. Hold on, y'all. I'm flicking through the book, y'all. Flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. We're looking for number three. Do number three. No, that's number four. Okay, at least I know where number four is. <laughs> number three is that number three? Yes, number three is receiving gifts. Number four, which will be Thursday, acts of service, and then the fifth love language. It's going to be and there's some bonus things in here too. Um, I'm hoping I can share. I don't know how to incorporate that, but the fifth love language is going to be physical touch. Okay. We're going to break it down. We're going to do chapter by chapter. So I don't know how long that's going to take. You know, the show starts at 6 a.m., right? I want you to make sure you got your coffee, your tea, your libation, whatever it is you do in the morning. And I want you to be able to sit back, relax, drive into work, drop the kids off to school, do some housework, rolling in, whatever it is, working from home, whatever it is. I want you to get comfortable, okay? And I'm going to give you just a little bit of um, some insight, 
okay? <laughs> um, we'll talk about what happens to love after the wedding, right? Because y'all know how some people, you ever heard somebody say, you in love with the idea of getting married, but then what happens after the wedding, right? Then we'll talk about keeping the love tank full, right? That actually sounds good enough to do a different type of segment, like a follow-up. So I might not even give that to y'all yet, right? But I will say this. What happens to love after the wedding is chapter one, okay? It also goes with the number one love language, which is words of affirmation. So I'll probably tie that in. There's a little bonus. There's a little bonus. So I want you to ready yourselves for that. That's going to start next week. And then in the next couple of weeks, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to break down what did you expect. There is a lot with that book that might take a couple of weeks to break down. So I don't know if y'all are ready for that, but I really, really feel compelled and I'm ready to dive deep and really share some seeds that we can plant to beef up and strengthen our marriages. Why not? Right? If you love your wife, you love your husband, why why we can't make that effort, right? We're going to really dig deep. We're going to talk about a lot of things, okay? I think let me I'm looking through how many chapters. Shoot. It looks like we're going to have 14. Is it 14? Oh, there might be 14 chapters. It could be 15. I'm trying to see. Oh, 16. So we got 16 chapters so far. Oh my God. 17 chapters. Mm, mm, mm. Jeez. Okay. I remember us doing 17 chapters, but obviously in our marriage ministry class through our church, we actually did 17 chapters. So let me just tap on what they are. Okay. What did you expect? Okay, we'll talk about that. Reasons to continue, right? We'll talk about that. We'll talk about whose kingdom. We'll talk about day by day. We'll talk about coming clean confessions, right? We'll talk about canceling debts, okay? We'll talk about pulling weeds. That was a good one. I remember that one. Mm. We'll talk about planting seeds. We'll talk about... Mm, what is that? After planting seeds. Ooh, what is that? Okay. That looks interesting. That title looks interesting. Sticking out your neck. That's good. That's good. Okay. We'll talk about... Someone to be trusted. We'll talk about... All you need is love. We'll talk about ready, willing, and waiting. We'll talk about amazing grace. We'll talk about before dark. We'll talk about after dark. We'll talk about eyes wide open. We'll talk about on your knees. We'll talk about worship, work, and grace. You understand? We're going we gonna to talk about it. Now, if you're here for it, great. If you're not here for it, that's okay. But it's going to get real deep. But as I said, I'm going to break down that book next week, starting Monday. The five love languages I'm talking about. Not what did you expect, but the five love languages. Not quite sure when I'm going to implement what did you expect, because that's going to take a little bit of time. And I also want to incorporate some therapists, right? Um, My husband and I are going to do part two to love languages. Unpacking that part two. And um. I might invite a therapist or a counselor, or it could just be my husband and I, and then we could just open up that platform and break it down because I'm really into that and been torn around and, and thinking about doing something a little bit different, a little bit deeper that has nothing to do with the top of the morning show or my tap in Tuesday. So I'm going to pray on it and we're going to see what God says. But in the meantime, I want you to enjoy one another. I want you to enjoy life. I want you to Think about what you want to do that's going to bring you peace and joy and happiness and love and do it. Don't worry about it. Just do it. That's all I have for you on this beautiful, thankful Thursday. Be blessed. Stay safe. 
And don't forget, you owe yourself peace, love, and happiness. I'll see you soon.